Hello everyone, good morning. You are joining me and DIY Dad. He's there in the background. We're in B&Q. I feel like I went to B&Q recently for a video. It was during the heat wave and I had to get a fan, that was it. My dad needs to buy a new toilet seat. I think the other one must be broken. Um, we are in here for a reason. Toilet seats, his business. I'm in here to get a little storing shelving unit, which I've seen online. Super cheap but really, really handy, and it'll be perfect for the studio. I'm gonna pick up one of those, and there's a couple more things which I wanna get in here. Hooks, so I can have some extra hooks up on the walls, hang some canvases and stuff like that on there. Um, and yeah, we're just having a little browse. My dad's actually got a chair, which he's given me this morning, a little kind of computer wheelie chair, so I can wheel myself amongst the paintings. Um, but yeah, there's a little update. We are gonna head back in a bit after we picked up the stuff to uh, put my easel together, which I'm super excited about. So um, yeah, lots of things happening today. And yeah, just excited to be out and about. My dad's back from work, so we get to hang out and yeah, crack on with some studio stuff today. Didn't know how difficult it was choosing a toilet seat, but we got there in the end. <laughs> yeah, just cut this to size, where you need it on top of that desk. Exactly, so this is gonna go on top of the easel. Um, you'll see later on when we put it together, but that's going to turn my easel into a desk to work from. Here's the um, shelving units, which I was talking about. I just looked up and they've got all the ones here. This is the 12 pound one and it looks looks sturdy enough for what I need it for. It's just to chuck on like loose um, materials and loose stuff to keep it off the floor. So I think this one's going to be perfect. I'm getting all the bits. All the bits. We'll do a little haul when I go back. Car's full. Let's go. We've brought all the stuff in. We've got my shelves over here. And then also, on the way back, Dad spotted this old kind of like charity shop on the corner. And I was looking for one of these. But none of the shops had them in stock. And this was sat outside the shop. I've cleaned it all up. Cost me 15 quid. Spot on. Spot on. And it's exactly what I wanted. I could put all my paints in there. And this is where I'm going to be working off with all my paints. I'm going to use my little like palette thing that I'm going to use on the top. And then I can just move it around. The studio, very handy. It's good. We've got a couple of things we need to put together. Yeah. What are we going to do first? Should we get the shelves up? You want to make the shelves? All right. So let's, let's get this up first. Does it require tools? Uh, probably a screwdriver. I need to get some then. Don't know. Probably a screwdriver. <coughs> Ooh, it's all coming together. I think after today, this will be like all sorted and ready. I'll have my easel up, I'll have my trolley. I'm so happy we found that. I also bought little storage boxes so I can put these on the shelf and get everything up off the floor and onto the shelf so we have some room to move about and stuff. But yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. Did a time lapse this morning driving to B and Q's, but let's hit let's hit a little time lapse. Let's hit a proper time lapse. Whilst me and my dad mess around with this, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, that's undone already, mate. 
We just lift her up, lift it up. Not too much. And there's our easel. Do it up. Does that that holds that in place? Yeah. So now it's like a painting easel. And look, it's on wheels. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck already. <laughs> <laughs> Always undo this one first, shall we? Perfect! Perfect. If I put my head in there, there'll be a big fucking spider <laughs> staring and crawling over my eyeballs. <laughs> right, ready? Man. What's that? Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, I think so. I should go into Tesco's with this. Excuse me, can I buy a sandwich? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> the floors, mop the floors again, so they are pristine. That's my half, look. I've got my new easel there, which is amazing. I'm so happy with that. And then I've just done a little bit of a sort out here at the back with all the things that I already had in here. I've decided I'm gonna start working on that one before I work on that one, but I left it on the easel, so maybe I'll go and chop and change between the two. This storage unit, 12 quid it cost me. Metal frame storage unit from B&Q. Very impressed by that. Now I've got all my bits and pieces, like my spray paint in one box, bought all these little containers. This is my kind of like canvas making box with my stretching tools, staples. This is my painting box. So it's got things like uh, liquid, which is like a thinner. Actually, no, that's not. This is a thinner that I use for my oil paints, linseed oil, but this is like a, just means that it makes the paint dry quicker. Spare brushes. Um, also, that's my little roll of my paint brushes in there. Got kitchen towel, all my oil paints at the bottom. Basically, we're almost there. These are some the canvases that I stretched up the other day, ready to go. Loose canvases, loose paintings at the back there. All my old uni artwork, uh, journals and stuff in the bottom, which I still need to go through. And yeah, that's also my old sculpture, which me and my dad are gonna put together and potentially paint another time. It feels so good. It's pretty much done now. Like, now all I need to do is just get busy. I've got no more excuses. We have the easels, we have the shelving unit, we have everything in place ready for me, literally, ready for me to grab and just go. Like, it couldn't be more set up than it is right now. So, um, yeah, that is got me super, super, super pumped, super excited. What's happening with this? Oh, this is a bit tricky and awkward, trying to put you on this whilst I'm still filming. Now, this is actually quite a big deal. Like, you've been following along in the renovation series. I'm sure some of you are watching this video for a little while about the, what we were doing, trying to transform the, the shed in the initial stages, roof coming off, putting new roofing on, felting that, new lights, painting it, painting the outside, doing the garden. It's been a, it's been a pretty big project. But now, it's pretty much done. I can't do anything else to the shed itself. The walls are painted. The canvases are in, Can got canvases that have been stretched. Everything is in place for me to just start creating now. And that has got me extremely motivated to get cracking. Excited, like beyond excited. This is just so freaking cool. Very happy. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. It may have been a short one, but um, yeah, I just wanted to bring you, I'm like enjoying just putting out little short videos and just making sure that I'm touching base with 
my channel and all you guys who are watching it and just kind of keeping you up to date and all the little bits that are going on. So um, I hope you appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, better get cracking. Better get cracking on the next video. Get busy, get busy painting. Right, I'll see you soon guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh, before I go, I said in the last one at the very end, please tag me in any photos and videos and stuff that you guys are creating at home of paintings or crafts or DIYs, anything creative, please tag me. I'd love to reshare them on Instagram and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, hit me up. I wanna reshare your bits. I'll put them on screen for everyone that's been sharing bits and pieces in the next video. I'm actually going now. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.